Welcome back to The Watch, and Gamergate 2 continues. Mm. You've been following Gamergate 2 a bit? I have, I have, yeah. Mm. Since the first one. Since the first one. I like to think it never ended. Almost, you know, like, the fallout of Gamergate 1 never ended. Mm. Where, uh, to me, it was one of the first times where the agenda... And it starts with feminism a, a, a lot of the time, right? Mm. Where men are bad and male gaze is bad and all that stuff, right? Got legitimate pushback. Where they were like, you know, oh, because I saw like, it, you know, male gaze is bad and uh, and the representation of women in film bad and the feminists, well, everyone was in lockstep. But then they went after the gamers. Yep, and the gamers rose up. And the gamers rose up and they didn't get to win wholesale. And they've never forgiven gamers for that. We are the most oppressed group in history. Mm. So, you were there. You followed all the original Game of Gate 1 stuff? I got started with it. Yeah. That's how it, that got me into Sargon. Mm -hmm. That got me into all of it. You know? yeah. yeah, like it was Game of Gate 1 that uh, red-pilled me, basically, on mm. the feminist narrative. Yeah. Okay? And uh, so now we're in Game of Gate 2, yeah, and uh, it has been a wild ride already. Game of Gate 2, Electric Boogle. <laughs> it's here. Like, everyone's kind of accepted it. Yeah. It's caught on. And, uh, all right. And, and it's funny because I think, like, I mentioned this in a previous video where both sides were, like, ready to go. Yeah. Because um, the uh, the journalists want Game of Gate 2 to do the same thing, but they're failing. And so we are seeing legitimate pushback against this woke propaganda. Uh, the story keeps evolving. There's always something new of what, what happens. And what's happening now is really interesting. This is a, a new phase in the evolution of the events mm. so far. So you all are probably up to date and aware that uh, big games have been failing because of woke propaganda. Gamers are rejecting it. And it's uh, one example of the larger problem was revealed to be Sweet Baby Inc., a consulting company, which tells these games like, hey, wouldn't it, you need to make the, the female less attractive uh, and, you know, more diverse and woke propaganda this that. Yeah, I, I think uh, uh, South Park said it rather eloquently, um, you know, poetically. Mm -hmm. uh, make it gay and put a chick in it. You, you got it backwards. Put, oh. it, put a chick in it and make it gay and lame. It's okay, like... okay. I thought they wanted to put a gay lame chick. <laughs> in Excuse it. me. A gay lame chick. Uh, but Zoe Quinn was busy. <laughs> <laughs> so, then in, in response, a uh, Steam curator list was made to reveal every type of game that Sweet Baby Inc. was involved with. But mm. that also, then they tried to cancel. The curator list. Why would they do that? It's oh, free advertising. I know, right? Why, why would they have an issue with that? They actually sent a harassment campaign against the thing. Mm. And that's what everyone's been lying about. The journalists have been lying about. And we've got, we got a video coming out about one of the whoppers <laughs> about the lies about what's actually happening, where they're not reporting that. That Sweet Baby Inc., an employee from Sweet Baby Inc., sent a harassment campaign against oh, this yeah. guy. Right, they're all trying to ignore that. And it's just Sweet Baby Inc. getting harassed. Okay. Mm. And that, that that's just the tip of the spear. There are heaps of consulting companies like this, as well as activists that are entrenched in these game um, companies already mm. that are pushing this narrative. Gamers are not having a bar of it. And so the curator list is over 300,000 now. It's quite a, quite, a, quite a group already. And it's I think a, that's just an, an example of the much larger group. Gamers are rising up. Game, you can't beat gamers, right? They will... <laughs> yep. In terms of tactics and uh, and uh, not accepting defeat and always going, uh, you know, that. Yep. and... Yeah, gamers. Hypertensile, you know, typing strength will yeah. out-type the journos. Easy. Oh, easy, easy. Yep. So, it's obvious that this is now a very big story. Mm. And we were kind of talking about on the... Um, GDC <laughs> video if um, game developers are cluing on. Not all of them. We don't think all of them will be. It's like, this is still an entrenched problem. If they're not cluing on, they've got to be... Completely denial. divorced from yeah. the gaming community. And then why the hell are they making games in the first place? Yeah, yeah. But they are. They're divorced and they have no idea. And so there are some, you know, like CEOs and corporate people who are involved with game development that are completely unaware of Game Gate 2 mm. and how huge this already is, mm. okay? So the, the, there's a lot of developers that are divorced. Good to see my parents are represented mm. in games. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He makes jokes about it because it hurts him. <laughs> there are some examples of uh, game companies uh, 
understanding like the people who are working on that you mentioned before vampire must read clearing house with their writing team mm. they, like that's what that needs to happen but not enough of doing that mm. so instead of actually learning from the backlash this is the next thing that's happening and uh we have a really interesting example right instead of learning from the backlash they're trying to hide it mm. and there are heaps of companies that are involved with sweet baby inc okay and they're trying to hide the fact that they have worked with them as a consulting group already. And this is why they wanted to take down the curator list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because they want to hide it. They want to get this work propaganda out and they know gamers hate it and they'll reject it. And so the way that they'll try and do it now is to sneak it through without them being aware that you'll buy the game, you know, they'll, they'll lie in the trailers. Right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then, and then when it comes out, right, it's all there and but you bought it already and they suckered you into it. I just don't know how they're going to hide the woke factor of this game. What's the past tense of that word? Wake? That woke. would be woke. <laughs> well, th this is what this game, it is called uh, Unknown Awakening. Mm. Okay. It's like the Steam forums for this new upcoming game. Um, they started mass banning everyone who mentioned Sweet Baby and or said negative things about the game being woke. It was a total purge. They wiped around 99% of the forum. Hmm. You have been banned from the unknown, from unknown Nine Awakening Community Hub, right? Do I smell some sweet baby here? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is just fascinating to me because they're aware that the like Sweet Baby Inc. now involvement is toxic. That could mm. really damage the uh, sales of their game, mm. as it should. Because mm. if you see the people who are on board with this work propaganda, already now by the way you can you would be able to tell that this is woke already for a kind of obvious reason what would you guess Shh. oh i see what? uh there is a non-diesel uh <laughs> some sort of vehicle in the, no it's there's a woman on the front cover they put a chick in it but not only that she's not the prettiest uh person <laughs> Yeah, she looks like my friend Arturio <laughs> from Spain. Like, in actual fact, if you were to cut out this face, right, and put a masculine haircut on it, right? Mm. Oh, him, her, her, I don't know, I don't know, right? That's a, ma that's a male face, posing as a female. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kind of looks like Tobey Maguire, but Iranian. Yeah, right? And that's like, we would be able to see the uh, woke infestation already. And it's this bizarre thing that Western game devs have against against fe traditional feminine beauty. Yeah. Like, they they hate attractive women. Yeah. Yeah. And and I'm not saying this is the most, would be the most unattractive woman in the world, but she's a far step away from being a knockout. Yeah. <laughs> and the, she looks a bit mannish as well. She looks angry. <laughs> right? Okay, so that's just one example of what's going on, where any mention of Sweet Baby, um, well, yeah, they, they want to purge, they want to get rid of. And so um, Mark Kern um, jumps in on this. He says, Reflector Entertainment <laughs> spurred out on their forums, banning 99% of their users since they were accused of being a Sweet Baby Inc. game. Look, like, they are afraid. This is an act of desperation and fear, yep. but also a doubling down. They're not changing. Okay. They want to hide the fact that they are a, a woke game and they don't want to be put on the list. Right. Mm -hmm. Turns out it's true. The former brand director of Reflector is a co-founder and COO of Sweet Baby Inc. Google search confirms. What you try to hide? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, Reflector, so it's a director of Reflector. That's the game company. Right? More like Deflector, but they okay. failed. But uh, the um, it goes it goes even further, right? So this tweet here, um, Mark, he's he's on the ball. He's covering all of this. Turns out, Kim, the other co-founder of Sweet Baby Inc., is the story architect for Reflector's Unknown Nine. So Reflector seems to be a, a game company, and this is a different game, but it's called Unknown Nine. Un Unknown Nine. It's confirmed by Cabruzzo. Cabruzzo. Good. Keep, keep doing your good work there. Um, and he goes, I hope Japanese companies stop funding Sweet Baby Inc. games. The publisher is Bandai Namco US, Ooh. and they will lose money 
bought from the poor story work. Mm. Bandai Namco, they're like the Dark Souls of publishers, man. Because <laughs> yeah. they publish Dark Souls. So look at uh, Unknown 9, right? Um, uh, objectives reflect entertainment's mission to create story worlds. Uh, trans Transmedia universes built from the ground up, releasing new and exciting narratives along a consistent schedule across a wide variety of platforms. How many transitive words do you need I don't there? Know. With the literally trans, but I mean like transmedia universes <laughs> built from the ground up, releasing new and exciting narratives along the consistent schedule across the world. You know, this is the um, word salad bullcrap they spit out to try and confuse people from their actual subversive narrative yeah. the woke agenda say as much as possible with literally no mm. meaning you know mm -hmm. yep yep uh, all there's meaning behind it just they don't want people to be aware that this is a uh, movement for revenge and control and, oh. and it's after power okay Man, i just didn't see it <laughs> yeah <laughs> went over my head all right so <laughs> that's just uh, one of the things and again the people that are working on it are the co-founder of sweet baby ink like sweet baby ink they are got their fingers in a lot of pies right they're not the only ones though but they are they're getting around yeah so reflector entertainment were the ones who were making unknown awakening so reflector entertainment and it turns out okay so reflector was also making unknown nine so reflector entertainment is the company there okay um and so uh, grums this is the main protagonist of sweet baby inks linked linked reflector entertainment for the game unknown nine at this point all you need to do is look at the female protagonist of a game to know it was linked to sweet baby ink or diversity equity inclusion reflector has gone into hiding nuking 90 have a look at uh <laughs> hmm. Are they like marking? look i don't get this okay like like there is you know more realistic feminine appearance but that's not this this is just but ugly yeah and and don't dare anyone try and say it's because she has what an indian complexion no there's indian have you seen some indian women like go, go to bollywood right mm. and them, mm, all right that's some spicy curry this right is there. a man dressing as a, like look at the face you separate that face right out from the longer hair mm. and if i just saw the face that's that's a man's face have you seen the meme of the indian dude who's bald who's like shaking his head and frowning <laughs> Yes. looks just like that i mean it's like yeah you can tell you can tell and so follow-up tweet which i found quite funny was by um game characters ai you know which way western men <laughs> well they've got the korean lady here and the western man here <laughs> I swear, I've got a mate who looks just like that. <laughs> yeah, like, do they think men would be attracted to this other face? If you're gonna make them all match, wouldn't you want like some attractive face? It's just like, and and if they try and say that this is more representative of normal feminine appearance, mm. that's an insult to normal feminine. Most women are not that ugly. Most women actually do have very clear beauty no matter what their size or where they come from it looks like aziz and zari like mm -hmm. honestly that's all i'm seeing man it's gosh like, like but this is just sweet baby ink diversity equity inclusion woke propaganda personified right there we wouldn't have needed to know that sweet baby ink was involved with this if you just see the protagonist that they're trying to push and remember one of the reasons uh, well there's a number of reasons why they make these um, female characters unattractive. I think it's because uh, a lot of the writers are unattractive and want to see themselves injected into it. They do it with Spider-Man, uh, mm -hmm. Mary Jane. Yep, yep. Or, or, but the thing is, like, the person that was the Mary Jane looks really close to doesn't look as bad as the Mary Jane in the game. They mm -hmm. made the Mary Jane look even worse. Mm -hmm. um, or they, like, you know, Dave, I'm oh, sorry, Mark Kern, Grums, shared and this is directly from game developers it's to uh, make trans people feel more included the reason why they're making so many women look like men and ugly which is i feel is an insult to a lot of trans people because trans people they want to try and pass convincingly as the opposite sex yes. and it's like an acknowledgement like this is how bigoted they are they're like trying to say 
like, oh yeah, most trans people, well, this is what they think they look like, and so are you. What are you saying there? Like, it's just it's shocking. Like night and day, night and day. But they're not learning from this, okay? They're just trying to double down and hide the facts that it is a piece of woke propaganda that they're making. And uh, this is, remember, like, you should be attracted to, uh, well, yeah, yeah. Whatever you're attracted to, but at the end of the day... No, no, they're, they're like, if you are attracted to the attractive woman, you're a uh, sexist. Oh, That's yeah. That's what they're trying to say now, mm. right, right? This is the standard of beauty now, you sexist bigot, mm. right? <laughs> And they, they, it's weird, right? They try to be like, oh, you, uh, beauty stereotypes, yet they enforce the worst possible thing they can. It's, yeah. it's... Uh, like, I think this is an insult to just even... Because, look, a lot of women actually uh, can be, be very pretty with yeah. it. Not, you know, they, you, they work with what they have and beautiful, right? The problem is, the problem is that they're literally attacking the concept of beauty. Yes. They're saying aesthetics is bad. And That's you're, a crime against at, humanity. And men are sexist for having a preference to these beauty standards, right? And then they've gone so far that if that's what they're trying to say represents normal female appearance, that's an insult to women in across the board, in all the world, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just... Uh, why attack the very... Of course, communists have to attack the very concept of beauty. Mm -hmm. It's tied to beauty, you have culture, and all these different... It's just... Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah, it's getting tiresome. But the thing is, though, this is what we'll see a lot of. A lot of game companies are now, instead of learning that what gamers actually want and, and just making a good product for gamers, they're going to try and hide the fact. And especially the activists, mm. like Sweet Baby Inc. They're not going to change anything. They're activists. They're, they're completely going to double down. That's their agenda, right? And so that's why they wanted the curator page taken down. They want to now hide and keep doing what they're doing. The fact that they're now exposed, they'll just probably rebrand, But they're rename. Strong affected. They, strong they did. And they're going to keep doing it. But, but even the people working for it, right? A lot of these people come from Gaming Gay One, mm. right? They're, they're these, you know, they they just Veterans. skitter about and will rebrand and restructure themselves to go about their destructive agenda again. Yeah. And so even if Sweet Baby Ink goes under, they'll just make a new one or they'll just rebrand entirely and try and hide. But the thing is, though, you can't hide this, <laughs> right? We have eyes to see. We have eyes to see. That's all we need to know. So you're not going to be able to hide. We will see the woke crap and gamers will just say, I like good looking women. That's the game I'll support. Yeah. Right? It's that simple. Mm -hmm. And that's why they will still fail. But don't let don't let them get away with it. Don't let them hide. So no. still, of course, expose them. And by the way, exposing them for what they are open about is not harassment. Mm. Okay. Criticism is not harassment. All right. Actual harassment is... And we've already got a video. That's what they they want abuse, right? So then, then they can play the victim. Yep. That's their card. Don't let them do that. Okay. And they're justified. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, just the next stage in the events of GamerGate Two, we'll see where it goes. Well, I have predictions, uh, but this is just like expected almost. Mm. Yeah. But, but join the fight, brothers. Yes. Are you doing your part? You, su subscribe if you like this video like it share it as well you can support the channel we've got many memberships here mm. it really means a lot and uh, as always stay on watch